We know we're dealing with the bitter cold temps, but how are our bodies actually handling it? As Matthew Smith explains, today is actually the day to check in on anyone you know who could be at risk for a heart attack. Matt, good morning. Morning, Dave. Yeah, this is a bigger problem this time of year. As the temperatures drop, the risk of heart attacks and strokes, well, they do the exact opposite. Statistics prove that they actually spike during these winter months. But think about it. If you're out there shoveling, you feel cold, your blood vessels, they're actually constricting. Not to mention most of us, well, this time of year, we're a lot less active. That means this is an even bigger concern. Now, if you are trying to stay warm today, experts will point out a few things. While you may think tight clothes work best, think again. Loose-fitting clothes do keep you warmer. Of course, that doesn't mean you can't layer them up. Make sure you're nice and warm. Just keep those layers loose. And if you are heading outside, think about insulated socks. Or if you don't have them, try to go with maybe two pairs of socks. Here's one last tip for you. I'm a big fan of the earmuffs, but doctors will tell you wear a hat. They'll keep the warmth in better. They won't pin your ears back, Dave Cerise, and hide the Dumbo ears like I got here. <laughs> but they say that it'll help and maybe even wear them inside if you have to. It is cold. It is. Did you wear a hat today on your way into work? I did not wear a hat because I hadn't read this yet. I was still trying to figure out how to stay warm, and now I know. Did All right. you wear your hat? No. I saw, you, I saw you come rolling in with that. Uh, You're you smart. Got that right. That's the mom in you. <laughs> Matt, that's good information. Thanks so much. All right.